Are you videoing? Yeah. Go catch those dogs coming. Now this, I don't know how old the beagle is, but the other one is a young dog. Come video me. Video me. So, <clears throat> this is the neighbor's dogs, and I've caught this dog up on the road, and I brought it back. scared to come. That's a very young dog. I don't know how old the beagle is. But the... I'm pretty sure when she saw you kick him, there's like, I'm not even going to mess with right. it. They need to go home. And that's a very young dog. Yeah. So I didn't kick the dog hard. Just enough that I meant it, you know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even bruise it, let alone break a rib. I'm just saying, don't let a dog come up to your puppy. Anyway, a sad, sad to say, but you'll find these dogs soon enough dead up on the highway. You, you can't let your dogs just run. Oh, hey, are you going to fast with me? Good girl. This puppy is uh, just a very, look at Peanut. <laughs> Can we scare you, Peanut? Uh, she's just a very, very, if, if this was a horse and I was training this horse, this would be an easy horse. Okay, now here comes some more. Here comes the beagle. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm going to body block. Now if I'm riding and a uh, dog runs up, up to my horse, you know, I'll just be ugly. He's got a cuckle burr in his back of this. That's a cuckle burr. Did you see that? Yeah, don't pet it. Don't pet that dog. Give it. So a lot of times, you know, you can just with your voice and your tell him to get out, leave you alone. So. And now I've met dogs that were not afraid of people, and they actually did one time on my property. <clears throat> I had to beautiful muscular pit bull that was full grown, fully mature, intact, on my property in Goshen. And then there was about a six, eight month old, you know how they look at six and eight month old, they're all bones and not a lot of muscle on them. And they were on my property. And I had uh, Desi out with me. And he was facing this way, so he didn't even see me. And I broke this switch off a tree. It was a, I had a low, several, I had the, uh, they're called Aussie trees, so they're all branch, right? And I broke me a switch, and I went up behind him, and I went whack as hard as I could. And he turned around, and he looked at me, and I think, and then I thought, he wasn't afraid of me. And I, I'm like, great, I want to defend myself with this switch. Well, Desi was standing right here, because she went everywhere I went. And she was about 90 pounds, and this dog was probably about 80 pounds. And then the puppy was looking at the older male, like, what are we going to do? And I'm like, oh, I think I may have been off more than that, too, because all I had was a switch. And I stood there, and I looked at him, and I'm like, I'll kill you. And he stood there, and he looked at me, and he looked at Desi, and I think if Desi wouldn't have been standing there, he might have tried to, he might have tried to get me. So, I just stood there. I don't know how long. It seemed like a long time, and I just stared him down. He's staring at me. He's sizing me up. So finally, he he gave. He he walked off, and I went in the house, and I got a little 22, and I came back out, and I could have shot him if I wanted to, but I didn't. I was just shooting the ground around him, and he took off running, and I heard where our property lied. It went late. It went down to the creek, and then it came back up, and the house. It must have been this lady's dog on the other side, and she starts hollering Bobo or whatever his name was. Don't kill my dog, Bobo, come here. I'm like, you keep your dog on your own property. But I don't kill other people's dogs, and dogs will be dogs, but he never came back. I will say this, the dog never came back, but that was one time that I almost bit off more than I could chew. Um, and I felt really brave because uh, the 
Jessie was a vicious bitch, man. She'd, she'd tear into anybody. So it really kind of surprised me that she just kind of stood there like, she, she just stood her ground because I, I think she knew if she got into it with this big male, it was going to be a fight. So she just kind of stood there. I mean, this girl, Desi, was so bad <clears throat> about attacking my other dogs. I had her, I had her canines filed down. That's how bad she was about ripping into, into my other dogs. So she was a lot of dog. She was a lot of dog. Anyway, anyway, that was a great lesson. Remy, you're so good. So I know sometimes I stand here and blah blah blah. Then part of that is training, and that your puppy just stay with you. You are so good. You are so good. Okay, let's go back. All right, you can clip that. I've done.